Hey guys, what's up? Jingles Rockers here, and I'm back to bring you more commentary on Modern Warfare 3. Now, before I get this commentary started, I would like to ask you all to please subscribe because I still don't have that many subscribers from my last video. It only got me about four more subscribers, and I got uh, quite a few views in the first day. And it was, um, I guess people thought that it was an okay video. Not, not my greatest, but you know, I'm gonna progress, like I said, throughout the commentary staging, and I'm gonna get better and better and just keep going. And I don't know if you guys don't subscribe or like my videos because you don't like me or you don't like my voice or the gun I'm using or the map I'm on or even just the gameplay. So that's why I'm saying it this early into the gameplay because I would like to ask you to subscribe, stick around for the whole video because I really do. I am trying so uh, just give me your feedback if you don't really like it. Tell me what I did wrong. Tell me what you want me to improve. Tell me uh, just whatever. And... I'm trying to get into more so of the commentary business of getting out there and getting noticed and the only person that I really know right now is a is someone named X Stud. You guys probably know of him. If you don't go check out his channel, he's really good. He has a lot more subscribers and video views than me and uh, I'm not going to rave on about him because I need to get back to this gameplay here. So here it is. Um, this actually is not me playing right now. It is actually one of my good friends, JPV1218, and he's a really good gamer, and he did really good. I think the final score was around 35-2, and two, and I, th in my opinion, that's a good, that's a, um, very good game. And, uh, so watch him play out this game while I talk to you about the new two maps that came out for Call of Duty today. Uh, not today, what am I saying? They came out a couple days ago, and they're called Piazza and Liberation. And, uh, you know, I think it's stupid, because they are only for Xbox 360, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, and PS3 Elite members, so... It's like they get them two months before us, and the uh, elite members of Xbox 360 even get them one month before the elite members of PS3. And I just don't even find that right. They're both elite members, it's just that they have different consoles. So what is the point of putting um, your uh, putting new maps out there if you're just going to give them to Xbox first and not PS3? Like, I don't understand that. And also what I don't understand is if you have to pay for the game, why should you be the one that has to wait? Um, the extra two months to get the map packs while other people are playing them. I mean, I understand because you have to pay for Elite and all, but what's the point of paying for Elite? What does it really get you? I don't really know much about it, but I and I think it's stupid. Um, comment down below telling me if it's not stupid, if I'm wrong, if it's actually really cool. I just really don't know. And I just think it's stupid that they're going to get it two months before us. And even the Elite players should get it both at the same time, PS3 or Xbox. They're both gaming systems. They uh, Maybe Xbox has a better contract with the people, but still, like that's not fair. That's not cool. So, yeah, just comment about that below. And also, here's the question of the day, guys. The question of the day is... Uh, this time would be what is your favorite gun in Modern Warfare 3 and or Black Ops so uh, leave your answers in the comment section below I'm actually gonna answer this question right now for you guys so my answer to this question would have to be in Modern Warfare 3 if you watched my last video you would know that my uh, favorite gun is the ACR because of its immense power and accuracy and it doesn't really have any kick especially due to the kick reducer that they provide to you in Modern Warfare 3 and in Black Ops, it had to be the Commando, probably, because of how much that gun was just so overpowered. I loved it so much, and it was great. In Black Ops, I really did like the gun customization more, but uh, so I can't wait for the next game. But I'm not going to rant on about that, because this commentary is coming to a close. The final score, like I said, was about 35-2 and two on his part. We won the game. And thanks for watching, guys. Jingles Rockers signing out. Bye.